What's up, Turtle here coming at you with another Hidden Fates opening. We have two tins, which means eight shots at finding another shiny Charizard. We've pulled two on this channel so far, which I'm really happy about. And let's see if we can find a third. But not only is this an opening, I want to just talk about... It seems like there is some evidence that there is another Hidden Fates print run, at least of the tins. So this morning on the... Pokemon TCG deal subreddit I highly encourage you to subscribe to that or just join the discord and monitor the deals channel but they did have another listing of you can pick up all three tins for $45 on game nerds um, maybe it's still available like I imagine it wouldn't surprise me if that sold out pretty quickly but maybe just take a look I'll put a link down below if it's still available but actually just this is more about the what does that mean the fact that that got relisted at $15 a pop which is a great deal versus like at stores you get them for 20 and whether that means another print run has occurred and then um, Falco who actually posted the thread made a comment that oh on the GTS distribution website uh, there, there is a listing for these tins as well for cases of them and so that seems to like I'm not too familiar with GTS or how I'm not going to pretend to know how distributors work, but just the fact that that is on the website with a order date of to do today does seem to line up with the fact that look, this is simply available to vendors again. And maybe that means we can expect that to hit stores again uh, for that regular $20 price. And um, yeah, we can start picking them up. So, you know, if you're itching to open some hidden fates, maybe just wait a little bit before as opposed to paying a little bit extra and we can get our hidden face back on and let's see how we do with this opening for our first pack we have a Kangaskhan and then just a Weezing but this is definitely my favorite modern set especially to do opening for unfortunately there's not too many competitive cards out there and probably the best one the Charizard GX is I don't know what is it a secondary market costs maybe couple bucks just because it is a tin promo so not very hard to acquire at all and everyone's opening this set probably one of the most opened sets in quite some time but yeah gotta find all of them shinies as many of those charizards as you can and it does feel like quite a confident bullet i have no idea how many packs we've opened on this channel but uh yeah haven't pulled too many of them Compared to like Zacian, you know, we pulled, opened a fraction of Sword and Shield and pulled three gold Zacian. So definitely that. Ooh, okay, here we got our first shiny. And okay, this is the. All right, when people talk about, when I talk a lot about the different variations, so this is the ultra glossy one where it seems like more often we find the textured. So this one seems to be less common, but I do think I like the textured a little bit better. But whenever you hear me say that, that's what I'm referring to. While we do have a master set of Hidden Fates, I don't think uh, the effort to put together like the different versions of it, because they don't really acknowledge them, and in a binder, you can't really tell. Okay, so let's try to find a Shiny GX. This is this is the rare. All right, nothing there. So for our first hit, we only got two hits, we got, or one hit really, then a little bit of extra with the reverse energy. Only one shiny, not too good. As far as pull rates, uh, I do feel like I do find less shiny GXs in in the tins, but I I'm not even trying to you know speculate that that's a real thing. That's just probably my own experience, and I'm sure it's subject to a lot of bias as well. Uh, same thing for the pins, though. And then Mew and oh, oh my gosh, we pull. I don't know, four or five gold Bulus, zero Feedies, zero Leles, one Coco. We are really good at pulling Bulu, <laughs> but we got a secret rare or golden Bulu. So any kind of gold card I am really happy about. Why is it always Bulu? <laughs> That's so weird. All right, so already this tin is off to a very good start compared to the first one. And we still got three more packs. But yeah, even uh, so, I feel like Hidden Fates came out huge splash. Cosmic Eclipse came out as like 
All right, cool, Cosmic Eclipse. Let's open some of these, and all right, let's get back to Hidden Fates. And it seems like we're at that point with Sword and Shield. Oh my gosh, this second tin is amazing. Still no, or actually, I guess this is a GX, but not shiny GX. But uh, so my experience seems to be holding true, but not to say that any of these tins are bad. We still get amazing pulls. A full art supporter, a gold card, a GX. Very nice. All right, two packs are remaining. But yeah, now we're waiting for Rebel Clash, and it wouldn't shock me if, you know, after every set, Rebel Clash comes out. Let's open some Rebel Clash, and it's like, all right, well, we're kind of bored with Rebel Clash. Let's go back to Hidden Fates. Okay, another hit. All right, so as always, guys, I like to get 50% hit ratio, and we are over that with some big, um, you know, very good hits. And the energies are kind of bonus. But, alright guys, uh, wait, did I do that correctly? Uh, maybe. Alright guys, last pack. But, uh, yeah, um, if you can't find that Game Nerds deal, I expect to, I, again, I don't really know how GTS works, but I assume that you'll be able to pick it up at other stores in a little bit as well. And there we have it, a successful Hidden Fates opening. We get a gold card and a full art supporter. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, uh, if you do want to support the channel, you can simply like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm One Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.